This piriformis chair variation I have found very useful in class. Take a hold of your leg, lean back and place your foot on your thigh. You're going to use a pulling action to help straighten your back. This sensation is for inside this hip. So take a breath and lean forward until you feel that sensation in this hip. Use the pulling action of your hands to help lift the chest and straighten the spine. Rest for three to five breaths. Once you're comfortable, you can do a contraction. Press the foot straight down into your thigh using the piriformis muscle. Six, five, four, three, two, one, relax your whole body, take a breath. And breathing out, lean further forward and use that pulling action to help lift the chest and straighten your back. Now you can intensify this stretch by actually placing your hand over your knee, the other hand over the top and use that pulling action to further pull yourself along your leg. You can also do that contraction of pressing the foot down. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, take a breath, lean further forward and re-stretch. Once you've had three to five breaths, you can come out just by sitting back up, lean back, take a hold of your leg, and put it back down on the floor. Now I'll just show you from a different angle so you can see the shape of my back. Again, lean back, place the foot on the thigh, take a breath, lean as far forward as you can until you feel that sensation in your hip. Use the pulling action of your hands to lift the chest and straighten the back. Do a contraction. Press the foot straight down in your thigh using piriformis of the bent leg. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Take a breath. Lean further forward. Use the pulling action of your hands to lift the chest and straighten the back. Or place your hand in front of your knee, the other hand on top, leaning forward pulling on the hands to lift the chest and straighten the back. Stay there for about three to five breaths. And when you're done, just gently press yourself back, lean back, take a hold of your leg, put it back down on the floor and then you're done.